Radio.tv Noon by the pen and that which they write therewith. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى كافة المؤمنين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Welcome to the brief answer series in which I will deliver to you inshallah the brief answers from the awaited Mahdi Imam Nasir Muhammad Yamani true statement of the Holy Quran Today question is, is a stoning part of Islamic Sharia? And the clear answer is no. There is no stoning in Islam. There is no punishment law of stoning to death in the Islamic Sharia. And Muhammad the Messenger of Allah, prayers be upon him and his family, has never violated the laws of Allah nor stoned anyone. Then, what is the proof that there is no stoning in Islam and what is the correct punishment law of adultery in Islam? From Surah an nur Surah number 24, verse number 2, Allah the Most High said, those who commit adultery, men or women, flog each of them a hundred lashes. Truthful Allah the Great. So Allah restricted the punishment law against them to a hundred lashes equally for all. Whether they were married or single, it is the same. And the clear proof to nullify the stoning to death for the married adulteress and adulterer is in Surah An-Nisa. Surah number 4, verse number 25, Allah the Most High said, Then if they are guilty of adultery when they are taken in marriage, they shall suffer half of punishment for three married women. Truthful Allah the Great. And this verse talks about the adulterous slave female, and her punishment is the half of the punishment for the three married women which is 50 lashes, as the correct punishment law of the adultery in Islam is clearly a hundred lashes. Now some will say that there is a confirmed sunnah hadith that the messenger of Allah Muhammad, prayers be upon him and his family, has stoned the woman who came and confessed that she committed adultery and fully repented to Allah. Then you must know that this is a false hadith to distort Islam, as true sunnah hadith cannot be in contrary with the Qur'an. And if we return to the Holy Qur'an, we will find that there is no punishment for those who repented before being called and overpower. From Surah Al-Ma'idah, Surah number 5, verse number 34, Allah the Most High said, Except those who repent before you overpower them, so know that Allah is forgiving, merciful, truthful Allah the Great. Then the Messenger of Allah, prayers be upon him, would never violate the command of Allah and punish her after her repentance, then it's clear that there is no story in Islam. Peace be upon you. Walhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen.